everybody on YouTube and the NFL YouTube prognosticators and NFL fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts for week 11 and my picks for my week 12 for the 2016 NFL season. Well, sorry, I just pulled in from work, I had a little long day, it's been a busy week for Thanksgiving week, so it's a Thanksgiving week this week, we got three Thursday night football games we're going to get to and everything else, so um, that's why I'm in my car right now, I just... um. Pulled into my uh, place, so that's why I'm here right now. So I don't really have time. I'm just too tired, you know, whatever. So so I'm a little busy in the, for the next um, day or two or so. So um, that's why I'm here now. So I figured I'd get my picks out of the way. Let's get on to the picks with it. Time for my thoughts for last week. Uh, starting with the Thursday game with the Carolina and New Orleans. Well, the, so, so to say this, though. Carolina... They had to put up a good fight. I mean, I'll tell you that much. But they just pulled out in the end, but... um. But, uh, oh, I can't think of his name right now, but he had a their big guy on defense, had a concussion issue. He was actually crying up on the field like that. Doesn't look good for Carolina. I mean, I know this is a dismal year for Carolina to think about right now, but losing a big player like him, that that's a heartbreaker, to be honest with you. I um, that That's really sad to see him play like that. I think he knows what he has done for, for the year, or at least that was a bad concussion, so... That's pretty much to say about that, you know, but Carolina put up a good fight in the end. They just couldn't pull it out, but, you know, New Orleans looks like the better um, offensive team. I told you to pick Carolina on that one. Guess I was wrong. But anyways, Buffalo and Cincinnati. That was a thought that was a low-scoring game, though, which I actually thought was going to be a little bit high scoring than that, but that turned out to be a low-scoring game, though. They, they covered, like, four points out of that. And more, more importantly, though, the... This is more likely the beginning of the end for Marvin Lewis finally. As they Carolina goes three and six and one for the year and Buffalo goes up, you know, unfortunately for me, but who do I to judge? But hey, whatever. But anyways, Pittsburgh and Cleveland. It's Cleveland. That's all I'm saying. It's Cleveland. I know Cleveland is might get a win. They may get a win at some point going on. But we all knew what's going to happen about Pittsburgh beating Cleveland, so I'm not going to say anything more than that. Dallas and Baltimore, oh my God, that had to be one of the best games of the week. It was a lowest-scoring game until Dallas sneaked it off at the very end of the game, pulled it off into 10, made a double digit to seal the victory on that. So, hey, 8-2 and two, Dallas, 8-1 and one, or 9-1, and one, hey, can't beat that Dallas when... Derek Pascot in there, and and not only Ezekiel Elliott. Wow, I mean that you can't beat that one for a margin for that. You can't really can't. Hey, nice win for you guys. I mean that was really good. I was keeping an eye on that game. I was really wanted to see how they would do. Hey, did that game didn't disappoint me. So who am I to judge to that? So hey, for the Colts in Tennessee, the Indian. I'll tell you this though, Indianapolis needs to win, and they got it. Simply, all they did. So, hey, but good win for Indianapolis. They needed to win really badly. Now, Andrew Luck's on a concussion call. Who knows what's going to happen to that point. So, Kansas City and Tampa Bay. Wow, Tampa Bay pulling off an upset in Arrowhead. That nicely done from Tampa. Nobody expected that one coming. I didn't see that coming. I mean, it was in two. They pulled it off. They were holding on to their dear lives in that game. They looked like they were on a roller coaster ride, but they ended up pulling it off in the in the end. They ended up doing it. Good for them. So kudos to Tampa Bay. They needed to win badly, but Tampa Bay is still Tampa Bay. Most likely to be with the Cleveland Browns not making the playoffs this year. So who am I to judge? Anyways, Minnesota and Arizona. I'll tell you this once: Arizona is not a good road team. And it never will, it never have been this year. Never will. Well, probably never. They were good last year on the road, but this year it's quite different. They look like they're like struggling to do like to get the wild card, and that's simply how's it gonna go from there. So, we'll see how it, that one goes for that. Then the Giants and Chicago. Chicago looked like that at one point they were gonna pull off an upset against New York, but New York battled back and came back and they won. Ugh. Now, the Rams in Miami. Well, Jeff Goff, 
Finally gets a start. This is probably the one he'll probably forget. He made a lot of rookie mistakes like most rookies do. So, then maybe this is a lesson game to learn. So, I'll have to keep an eye on him. But, who knows? Maybe he has a bright future in Los Angeles or something. But, we'll have to wait and see for that and go from there. And the, my Patriots in San Francisco. It looked like a sloppy game at first, but the, my New England Patriots pulled it off in the end. Simple. And it's Colin Kaepernick, too. Well, Colin Kaepernick was really decent, but... 49ers protection in the defense is just plain awful. Simple. Plain awful. And Seattle and Philadelphia. Whoa. See, Philadelphia looks like they were going to almost pull it off in the end, try to go for a touchdown for an onside kick. Instead, that they got an interception. Seattle gets the victory for that. Yeah, and Washington and Green Bay. I'll tell you this one right now. Green Bay has problems. I don't know if it's the lack of Jordy Nelson, injuries. Or maybe Mike McCarthy. I don't really know. I don't know if it's Aaron Rodgers. I hardly doubt. But I doubt it. But maybe Mike McCarthy. He's a heck of a coach. I mean, why would you want to... If he's the problem, why would you want to give him up? He's going to get another coaching job in two seconds. Once in Green Bay lets him go. So th that's the way I look at it. I don't really look at it as both Aaron Rodgers or Mike McCarthy. I don't think it's them. I really think it's the lack of injuries they have right now for... um yeah, for uh, Green Bay. So I, that's what I think it's happening going on. So, but if I were Green Bay, still hold on to Mike McCarthy. You m still may need him in the in the future, right? Right. But anyways, the Monday night last night game in New Mexico in Mexico, that was entertaining. Excuse me. Nah, it looked like I, the video got cut off or something. But I'm back. But but anyways, that was a good game to, to look to look into. That was a great game. It was a touchdown victory, and for that, I want a football guru T-shirt. Hey. But check out the football guru. He's really good. Do his on Monday night football um giveaways. Really cool guy. He's not my shout out for the week, but still check out his videos. He makes awesome videos. Pick great prediction videos. Still in into for that. Hey, who am I to judge? I mean, anyways, still check out his videos. They're really good. By the way, football guru, if you're watching, if you're watching, make sure. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely excuse me. If I do watch it, excuse me. I mean, I don't know what my video is doing lately. But anyways, Football Guru, if you do watch this, I am going to, once I get the, I send you my email and everything. If, you, if I get the shirt sometime soon, like in a month or so, I'll definitely wear it in honor for you. And I will, and I will do that for you, my friend. And we'll get to that point. And we'll get to that. Anyway, all right. That, that will wrap up my thoughts for week um, 11. Let's go on to week 12. The Thanksgiving Day Games. Lions and the Vikings. The Lions are the home game, home dog, home team in this one. Minnesota, not very good road team, but they have a lot of injury problems. I'm, t I'm gonna pick Detroit over Minnesota. Cowboys and Wash and the Redskins. Both teams are on fire right now. Washington's fighting for a playoff spot. Dallas is trying to wrap up the NFC East. Great division rival right there. It's gonna be a low scoring game. Uh, division games are always the best games to watch in the, in the NFL. And I'm telling you right now, Despite what Dallas is doing, I like Dallas in this game. At this point, I think Dallas is going to try to get that and try to wrap up that division th this week. So I think I picked Dallas over Washington. Steelers and Colts. Okay, I said earlier in my video, in my other part if you were watching, Andrew Luck has a concussion issue, and I think he may not play or might not. I think I've heard he may play, may not play, but... So I'm going to pick Pittsburgh, but if... um. Andrew Luck plays, I'm going to pick the Colts in this game. So, it can go either way. So, either way, I'm picking the Steelers. If Andrew Luck plays, does not play. But if, um, but if the Colts, um, but if Andrew Luck does play, I'm picking the Colts. So, Steelers, if Andrew Luck does not play. Colts, if Andrew Luck plays. So, simple. And Titans and Bears, I'm actually going to pick Tennessee in this one. And I know, um, Jake Cutler is hurt and he's out. So, um, so we'll see how the new kid goes and go from there. Hey, what do you know? Look. Any, oh, sorry. Anyways, Falcons and Cardinals. Hmm. I gotta say this. The Falcons are the home team on this. The Cardinals are not a very good road team. I'm picking Atlanta. Ravens and Bengals. I don't know what we're gonna, ex I expect from Andy Dolan, but you know, Baltimore putting up a good fight for against Dallas last week. I like my chances for, 
Uh, Baltimore, they looked hungry for that, for another win. They get another crack at them. They're probably going to take out in Cincinnati. I like Baltimore in this game. Bills and Jags. I like Buffalo over Jacksonville. I don't know what's going on with Jacksonville either. So, Browns and Giants. I know, I think this is going to be the last chance for Cleveland to get a win. And I think this is it. If they don't beat the Giants, they may go 0-16, but I don't think they're going to go winless. I like an upset pick. I like Cleveland over New York. Believe it or not, I'm picking, Cle- I'm picking Cleveland. Yes, I'm picking Cleveland. I'm, I know you guys are going to kill me, laugh at me for that pick, but don't get too confident for that. Don't get too confident. But in Saints and Rams... I like the Saints in this because they have a really high power offense. I think that's going to help them out for that against the Rams. Dolphins and 49ers. I'm going to pick the Dolphins in, over the 49ers in this game. But it, by God, if the 49ers beat Miami, and I know Miami's on fire lately, I don't think they deserve, I don't think Miami deserves to be in the playoffs for that. We'll wait and see for that, but hey, who knows? Who knows? But anyways, I like Miami over 49ers in this game. Seahawks and the Bucks. I like Seattle at home. Simple. Tampa Bay is just have problems right now. And I gotta say this: the um, I gotta say that the the char- I'm gonna say this. I'm be honest with you: the char- Texans. I know they have problems, and they have a good offense with Philip Rivers. I know if I say Philip Rivers has been done and washed up over with, but at least San Diego don't have injury problems. I'm going to say San Diego over Houston. Believe it or not, I'm going to pick San Diego over Houston in this. To be honest, for a little upset because San Diego, their defense has been struggling since J.J. Watt's been done for the year. I know they've been winning and all that, but they have little injury problems. That kills me for that. So I'm going to have to pick San Diego over Houston. So. And... I gotta say that I uh, said about the Seahawks and Bucks. So, I'm sorry about that. And my New England Patriots over the New York Jets. I'm gonna say this: my New England Patriots, they're going back to back road games. They're going to the West Coast now. They're going to New York, the East Coast. Hmm. You know, and you all know what I said. I already said it. My New England Patriots over the um the New York Jets. And Ryan Fitzpatrick is starting. And I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm overreacting. Let me get the light in here. Excuse me. I know, I know, I know. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I know, I know, uh, I know. And I'm gonna. Have, I'm reason why I'm saying I'm a Patriots fan. Don't get me wrong, but wow, wow. We, we, that game was sloppy last week, but I think we're going to recover from that game. And we're trying to beat the New York Jets. Which, um, I'll get to my shout-outs in a minute for that one. The Panthers and Raiders. I know the Raiders have been on fire this week, but I got an upset pick. I'm picking the Panthers over the Raiders. The Panthers have played really well lately. You know, and they are. And Oakland's on, at home this week. They haven't been the best home team this, this year, but they're in the best road team. I'm picking Carolina because it's out Oakland. Can you guys see me? Sorry, I'm a little blurry, but, you know, I'm trying to get some light in here. But, anyways, so Sunday Night Football is going to be an entertaining game. The Chiefs and Broncos, believe it or not, I like Denver's defense in this game over Kansas City. I like Denver over Kansas City in this game. And I'm not saying that it's because of Alex Smith or Andy Reid. They're great, but I just trust um, Denver's defense more than the Kansas City Chiefs offense. So, I'm going to have to pick Denver over Kansas City. In this game. Yeah, and for the s- s- Monday night game, Eagles and Packers, it's in Philadelphia. Green Bay has problems. They have injuries. And, of course, they haven't been the best road team this year, by all means. Not the greatest. I'm going to have to roll with Philadelphia over Green Bay this week. And I am and I think I trust more of you know, Philadelphia more than I can trust Green Bay right now. So I'm going to have to pick Green Bay over... Um, I mean, I had to pick the Philadelphia over um, Green Bay. So, anyways, that'll wrap up my Week 12 picks. Shoutouts for this week. Uh, for the Thanksgiving days, it, 
Check out Brother Poet. He's a good friend of mine. He's a good prognosticator. Definitely check out his videos. He's worth the vi the videos on the out there. And, of course, check out Edward Lerner. He's a really good prognosticator. We call him the Zodiac Man. Well, at least Geo knows calls him the Zodiac Man. And, of course, and Logan Shaft, who's a New York Jets fan. And, no, Logan, I am not betting on that game because I refuse to wear a New York Jets hat and I, I don't have any money to bet on. So, I'm not going to do that. So, anyways... That's all I'm going to tell you, but Logan Shaft, definitely check out his videos. He's a really good prognosticator, and he's a New York Jets fan. If you like the New York Jets, check these videos out. And Logan, like I said, I'm not betting this week. I'm not wearing a New York Jets hat. I refuse to wear a New York Jets hat. I'm a diehard New England Patriots fan, and that's it. I'm not wearing a Jets hat. The Denver Broncos hat, I can live with, but New York Jets, forget it. If you were thinking about a bet, don't. Do, I'm not going to do it. So, anyways... That'll wrap up my week 12 picks. I will see you all in week 12. Until then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe to that. And check out our NFL YouTube prognosticator page. This is Andrew Warren signing off. Peace.